This is problem number three from section 5.5. In this problem, they want you to evaluate the integral uh, root x cubed minus seven over x to the 11th dx. So in the previous two examples, they gave us the u substitution. In this example, they're not giving us the u substitution, so we gotta come up with it on our own. Well, when I look at this, if I made u equal to x to the 11th, and I go ahead and take the derivative of that, that'd be like 11 x to the 10th, that's not gonna cancel the x cubed. And vice versa, if I make u equal to x cubed minus seven, that's not gonna get us anywhere. If I make u equal to the whole thing in the middle, now when I do the derivative, I have to do the quotient rule. And uh, that's going to leave me just with, with some more x variables, so when we substitute it in, it's not gonna cancel anything, so we're not gonna end up with just u variables. So actually in this problem, the first thing we need to do is we need to start to uh, do some simplifications uh, to see if we can get this uh, root to look a little nicer so that we can do a u substitution. Well, if you notice, x to the 11th has an x to the third in it. So I can rewrite this as root x to the third minus seven over x to the eighth times x cubed. Which means I can write this, dx, sorry. Which means I can write this as integral uh, root one over x to the eighth times x cubed minus seven over x cubed. So I'm just separating out this fraction. All right, same thing, just separating it out. Which I can evaluate this radical here. I know that that is actually equal to, so the root of one over x cubed, or x to the eighth, is actually just one over x to the fourth times root x cubed minus seven over x cubed, dx. Yeah. And then I can write that as, uh, if I reduce here, I can separate that and I can say that that is uh, one over x to the fourth times root, when I reduce here, x cubed over x cubed is one minus seven over x cubed, dx. And I've simplified as far as I can simplify, but you'll see that gives us some power here. So I'm, I wanna cancel this x to the fourth. I can see that if I take and make u equal to one minus seven over x cubed, when I do the derivative of this, I'm going to move x cubed to the top. That'll be x to the negative three. I'll subtract one, which will make it x to the negative four. And you can see that I'm probably gonna get some cancellations here. So let's see it work. I'm going to say u, and I'll write that up here in the top corner, u equals one minus seven over x to the third. So du over dx equals, if I do the derivative here, uh, this will just uh, be zero, so then I'll, I'll need to rewrite this as, so I'm actually going to do a little intermediate step here. Instead of doing that, I'm gonna say u equals one minus seven x to the negative three. Now I'm gonna do du over dx. I just wanted to show this have proper notation here. So now when I do the derivative, that's zero. This comes to the front, that's 21. And then I subtract one, that's negative four. And I, div or I subtract one from that, so that's an x to the negative four. Okay. So now I've got to solve for dx. So I multiply the dx over, that's du equals 21x to the negative four dx. I divide this over, so that's du over 21x to the negative four dx. And now I can substitute this part into this part of the integral. So I'm gonna write that here. So this equals the integral of one over x to the fourth, this is now u 
uh, we're gonna write that as, we should write that as root u. That's kind of screwed up that writing, sorry. Uh, and then that is du, when I substitute dx, I get du over 21x to the negative four. Okay, so if I rewrite all this, that's actually integral one over x to the fourth, root u, I bring the x to the fourth to the top, I have dux to the fourth over 21. You'll see the x to the fourths cancel there, so that's going to be uh, integral. When the x to the fourths cancel, I'm left with one over 21 root u du, which then I can write that as 1 over 21 integral root u du. And my last couple steps here, I'm going to do the integration here. That's 1 over 21. When I do the integration here, I add, this is to the half, so I'm going to add 1, that's 3 halves, divide by it, so I get u to the 3 halves divided by 3 halves plus c. I can now write that as, uh, when I flip this and multiply it, I get 1 over 21, 2 thirds, u to the 3 halves, plus c. When I multiply this in there, I'll get uh, 2 over 63 u to the 3 halves and when I multiply that times c, remember 1 over 21 times c is just going to be plus c because a constant times uh, another constant is just going to be a constant and then I substitute in our u value which remember our u value was right here I can even go up a little higher right there so u value is 1 minus 7 over x squared and I get 2 over 63, 1 minus 7 over x cubed, I meant to say, not squared, to the 3 halves plus c. And that's the answer.